What is shaking, Internet? This is Salts bringing you the How to Tank for Dummies Guide. Imperial Vizier Zorlock LFR. Zorlock, aka the platform or disc and shell boss, is the first boss in the first section of the Heart of Fear raid, which is called the Dread Approach in LFR. First up is Trash. Trash comes in two types, tankable and untankable. Tankable trash is pretty forgetful, um, but you do need to watch and try to interrupt the caster ads. Uh, Fanatic, I believe, is what they're called. The untankable trash is actually tankable at the beginning for a few seconds, and then they just spread out and go for the whole raid. I would suggest stacking up, but they cleave, so spreading out loosely would be the best. Just aim with them down as best as you can. Zorlock himself is pretty easy. He has two phases and is a one tank fight. Phase 1 starts immediately. Uh, once engaged, the boss will fly to a random platform on one of the sides of the room. Each platform will grant the boss a new move. First up is Force and Verve. Uh, the boss will start casting Force and Verve without any warning and pop up three shells for the duration. Simply stand at any of the shells to get 40% reduced damage. There you go. If you don't, your healers will yell at you and you should feel bad. The next platform is Attenuation. Uh, the boss will always start at Force and Verve or uh, Force and Verve the Shells or Attenuation, this next platform, and fly to the opposite side at 80%. Attenuation is pretty simple, as the boss will shoot out discs in a spiral pattern. Uh, just run around in a circle to avoid taking damage from discs. It should be pretty easy in melee range. Um, the third platform will always be the back one, which is Convert. The boss will fly here at around 60% health and periodically mind control three raid members. Simply AoE them down or beat on them to break the mind control. Um, before I talk about phase two, I want to cover what the boss does throughout the fight. He will cast inhale, which does absolutely nothing but give him inhale stacks, every so often, which is pretty ignorable. Don't just ignore the mechanic, don't even have to worry about it. Uh, he will also exhale on a random raid member quite a bit. This does a good chunk of damage on that raid member and stuns them while they're being hit. This is where you, the tank, come in. Simply stand in front of the boss when he's exhaling on someone, and you'll take a little damage instead. And you don't even get stunned. Hooray. Note that there's gas in the middle of the room. Um, if you stand here, you'll be silenced and take damage every few seconds. So don't stand here, obviously. At around 40 to 45% health, the boss will begin phase two. He will move to the center of the room, sucking up all the gas and gaining a lot of damage in haste. Uh, he will also start casting all three of the, of the abilities from Phase 1. Attenuation, which is the discs, Force and Verve, which is the shells, and Convert, which is the mind control. Every so often, just avoid discs. Uh, every so often. Uh, just avoid the discs, uh, stand at shells, and beat on your buddies. There you go. Uh, there isn't much else to say for tanking. Uh, stand in exhales to make sure your raid members aren't dying, but otherwise, very straightforward fight. Overachievers. The only non-numbered difference I've seen in the fight between LFR and Normal is that Attenuation sends out about twice as many discs to avoid. Force and Verve does a ton more damage, it seems, and Convert takes more or less people, depending on uh, if you're a 25-man 25, 25 or a 10-man. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this very quick and very short guide for dummies, uh, but it's a nice, simple fight. So... Please like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz, and, as always, you keep it salty, Internet. I kind of underestimated how uh, short this guide was, so I'll just be showing the rest of the kill in this video, so hopefully you'll uh, enjoy the rest of this video. Watch and all that good stuff. Thanks, guys.